Tyrannosaur. You have a little bit of Tyrannosaurus Rex in your jawbone. Don't believe me? It's all your mother's fault. Listen up. Here's how it happened. Once, in days of old, a Tyrannosaurus Rex roamed the lands of North America. When its days on Earth were done, he died. Layer upon layer of mud buried his bones. Time ticked by. The mud hardened into rock. The land lifted to make the rocky mountains. Centuries slid by. Rain fell, eroding the rock, washing away bit by bit. Slowly, slowly, a T-Rex toe bone was uncovered. Rain fell, eroding the bone, washing away a little bit of dinosaur, some calcium. Water swept that little bit of calcium down the valley to the Arxanas rivers. The river carried the little bit of dinosaur across Colorado, Kansas, and Oklahoma, and might have carried it to the Mississippi River, except... It got sucked up by a pump that irrigated a cornfield. The farmer harvested the corn and fed it to his cow. The cow's body used a little bit of dinosaur to make milk. The farmer milked the cow and sent the milk to a dairy. The dairy used the milk to make cheese. The trucker took the cheese to the store. Your mother bought the cheese and made you a sandwich using cheese that had calcium that used to be in a dinosaur. I told you it was your mother's fault. Your body took that little bit of dinosaur and used it to make your bones a little bit stronger. You have a little bit of Tyrannosaurus Rex in your jawbone. If you look close, you might see a little bit of Bronchosaurus in your keen scented nose. Or a little bit of Stegosaurus in your strong spine. Or a little bit of Velociraptor in your grasping hands. Or a little bit of Aptosaurus in your big toe. And when your days on Earth are done and your body returns to the Earth, that little bit of dinosaur will be used again. Maybe someday the calcium will travel halfway around the world and wind up in the backbone of a great blue wheel. <laughs>